morning privateers welcome to the asian preview north american wrap from your friends at privateer fx let's get right to the charts the dollar had a better day today actually one of the one of the better days it's had in a while um here's a euro dollar chart we did close off the lows it got down to uh 123.35 ish and then closed back up at 130 123.80 but uh, it was pretty well offered all day. It, it looks like some of these month-end flows that we talked about are starting to filter through, and especially today because it's the corporate value date month-end where they are buyers of dollars. So we saw some dollar buying throughout the European session and then into the into the uh, WMR fix today, and then that the buying stopped and uh, the dollar uh, came under a little bit of pressure, but. Nothing major. Dollar yen had a nice day. It's pretty much been trading trading higher most of the day. It got all the way up to uh, 109.20 and then settled down right around just underneath the figure. Um, some of the other charts, just looking at the dailies here. We had cable. We had a, you know, a bit of a down move today. It, it did hold uh, 140.20. If we pop over, take a look at the. 200-hour moving average in cable, it was just below there around 140.15, so that, that held nicely. Uh, we'll see what uh, how that plays out from here. Um, you know, nothing specific on the radar. I do think the dollar is trying to find a short-term bottom. Um, we did have, uh, we do have some of these month-end flows coming up. Perhaps some more some of these corporates are going to repatriate dollars back to the U.S. and you know end of the month is a good time to do that. So there could be some mixed flows of uh, corporate repatriation and then and dollar selling for month end. Uh, if we take a look at the equities, they had a very interesting day. This is a weak day for both the S and P 500. See here, we made a new high. We closed lower, reversal lower day is what we call that back against these old highs, just below these old highs. So we're monitoring that closely. There is supposed to be, any, I've heard anywhere from 15 to 20 billion dollars worth of stocks sold and bonds buying about five to seven billion dollars worth of bonds in the uh, pension fund rebalance at month end. Uh, so we have still have a couple more days of that. Uh, the S&P was down three quarters of a percent, and the Nasdaq, uh, similar, made a new high and then closed down about a half percent. There was some late day selling, big um, sell imbalances. Uh, the U.S. ten-year yields <coughs> shot up to, uh, I believe, two seventy, two seventy-ish was the high, a little over two seventy today. There, there's some commentators talking about two seventy-five being. Uh, kind of a line in the sand for for the 10 year US 10 years uh, where things start getting a little bit uh, unruly and if you take a look at what the VIX did today very strong close let's go back on the dailies you know we haven't had an update like this in ages it was up about 25 percent in the close um, these old highs 1450 are now a, a target so some of this might be the month end flows the pension rebalances selling equities, buying bonds. Might start seeing some of those flows the next couple of days. Um, but I would definitely uh, pay close attention to this volatility index, which you know we haven't seen a 25% move higher and, and actually close on its highs. I mean, if you look at these, you look at this close, we close right on the, right on the dead ball's high today. Um, so that's on our radar. Uh, New Zealand just had their trade balance. It was a better than expected number. Came out uh, 640 uh, million uh, trade surplus. Exports were good. Imports were lower. Overall, a decent number. Let's see what the Kiwi dollar has done since that number came out. Really, nothing. Uh, we were trading right around 20. We closed right around 20, and we're trading 25. We got the 200-hour moving average, which we've closed below now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hours. We're on the eighth hour right now. <coughs> uh, we haven't done that. Uh, the last time we breached it after the CPI numbers last week, uh, we closed below it 
really just for two hours and it came right back up. So still like selling Kiwi on the rallies. Uh, as far as data, we got Japanese CPI, core CPI coming out in your session. And then we have uh, several German CPI numbers uh, during the European session. And we are will be awaiting Bank of England Governor Carney speaking in the uh, New York morning uh, just after the uh, options expiry. And then Aussie CPI tomorrow uh, in uh, China manufacturing and non-manufacturing PMIs. And then tomorrow night in New York time is the State of the Union from Trump, which will be very closely followed. Uh, any rhetoric on uh, trade and I think the market will be, be following that closely. We could actually get some movement um, over the State of Union address. So that's pretty much it. Um, good luck trading, and we will speak to you on the European Open. All the best.